All right, it's Wednesday, 8 p.m. Hey. Black Boy ah. Joy Show. Ah, 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 ah. Hey. Hey. We did like a. I like, like that. A, you know? We, we still didn't like, get our sound effects. We got to get We that. wrong for that. I'm going to get the. Bah, 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 bah. Okay, we got to get, get a soundboard. Put that down, Janae. We need sound effects, all right? But this is the Black Boy Joy Show. My name is Jameer Pond. I'm Marcus Ivory. All right, and as you can see, we're missing a member. Devontae oh, is not here in Joe to see this week. Bow your head. Bow your head. Ah. Quick moment. Quick moment. All right. He's off in my jammy, living his uh, natural Latino life. <laughs> So shout out to uh, Mouse Jones. Mouse Jones. Mouse Jones. We, we love you, brother. you, brother. Yes. How you doing, man? I'm doing good this week. I'm doing good? good. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, I feel good. How about hey, you? I'm I'm all right. I feel good because um, I'm living my black boy joy life. Yes, uh, it's a wonderful time to be a black boy. It's always a wonderful time to be a black boy. That's right. That's going to be a good <laughs> sound bite. Uh, before we get started, we got to give a shout out to our sponsor, Wealthy Images. Wealthy Images. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Wealthy Images. What's the slogan for Wealthy Images? So the slogan for Wealthy Images, um, who wouldn't want a wealthy image? Ooh la la. Wealthyimages.com. <laughs> Go there, get your headshot, get all the pictures, get what you need. All you need. He do naked photo shoots, birthday <laughs> parties, <laughs> bar mitzvahs, all kind of shit. Wealthy images, please support. <laughs> <laughs> we need the soundboard. I will fucking break the button the we first episode. To... I know you would. You ain't got no cool. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got no cool. Uh, but uh, make sure you follow us. Definitely on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Black Boy Joy Show. Black Boy Joy Show. Black Boy Joy Show. Black Boy Joy Should know. Exactly. All right? And tell a friend to tell a friend we got a good show. But before we get started, we usually do an icebreaker. This week going to be a little different. Okay? We went to the Colin Kaepernick last week. Please yes. make sure you go see yes, that yes, video. Yes, it's yes, up yes, on yes. our YouTube page at Black Boy Joy Show. Um, but we had a good time at the Colin Kaepernick. It was rally. interesting. It was we, interesting. Because you... Now, yes. Let's go. In, let's go into it. Look, you, let's let's just be clear. Right? Let's be clear. The rally was for what was the rally for? We went to the rally. We at were the NF, at the NFL headquarters. Headquarters on what fifty first and Park, Park Avenue. Avenue here mm -hmm. in New York City. Fifty first and Park Avenue in New York City. Um, it was a scheduled rally. Uh, it had to be about how many people would you say like? It was a couple hundred. Th you didn't think it was a thousand? I don't think it was a thousand. Okay, so when I first got there, it looked like it was bigger. Maybe it was like five or six hundred people. Okay. I would say about that many. It okay. could have been more. Mm -hmm. I didn't count, but I would say it's like five or six hundred people. Right. Um, but it was just very interesting, like seeing everyone who should have been there on one accord and all for one thing, but it wasn't like that. Like people was like, like it was just different. That was my first time going to a rally. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I had in my mind what to expect, but this was just something different. It wasn't a bad different, but it was good. And right. I learned a lot, and it actually opened my mind up. And like what I think about the situation, I, I understand more about it and how deep it is and why he might feel the way that he feel about it. Okay. You know? What do you feel? How do you feel about it? Uh, I, you know, <clears throat> same thing, uh, just about equality. Like, mm -hmm. it's always a struggle for equality as black people. Um, the NFL, as we know, is very lenient when it comes to drugs, very yes. lenient when it comes to domestic violence. I was going to say. Right, but when somebody takes a stand, uh, stance for black lives and, you know, black bodies dying in the street, it now, becomes a little tricky. And see now the, we can't get a job. But see, the part, like, that, and this is where, you know, you know I, my position on it. I know, I know. Like, <clears throat> I don't think anything was wrong with him protesting about whatever he believes in. Mm -hmm. He just did that shit while he was at work, on the clock. Right. And if you carry your ass into work, at, to the station, and while you clock in, you're supposed to be doing motherfucking work, and you're like, I'm a protest, and I'm not going to do X, Y, and Z, and they fire you, or write you up, or send you home, whatever, you can't be mad or try to cause a scene because you at work. Well, at, he at work. He bro. wasn't He wasn't even at the rally, though. He wasn't at the rally, but he was at the game when he protested. Sure. Right. He at work, bro. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Like, when you get off and the game is over... You can go and kneel all you want to, but right now you at work, and now, I don't think people look at it like that. Okay, I don't want to start an argument. No, 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 no. I don't want to start a fight. No, I'm just saying. Let me make this okay. point. Now, yeah. it wasn't like he when they took a snap at a at a ball, he dropped back and then put up the black power fist. No, he was not. still throwing footballs. Absolutely, he just protested his stance on the national anthem because he felt like it didn't apply. But do you think he was still at work? People. He was still at work. Do you think that was the right time for him to? Look, man, if they got people beating people, beating women, taking drugs while they're on the field, 
they still in the game. Well, listen, the rally was good. It was good. Like I said, that's my first time there. If you guys want to like find out more about like see more coverage on the rally, where do you can go over to our what our YouTube page? You go over to our YouTube page. You can go to our YouTube. Check our, out the full recap. The Instagram page have a few cut clips on there about right, Twitter, like, us at the Facebook. rally. Mm -hmm. But um, you can see more of us covering that whole subject. It's a deep subject. We could talk about it all day. But for more of that, you can just head over to the YouTube and check it out. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so we always because I was getting upset. I know it's all right. No, it's deep, like, all right. Go ahead. Anyway. Usa. All right. <laughs> we'll get more commentary. We'll, maybe we'll do an after show. We'll get more commentary. All right. All right. See. All right, so black boy joy moment. So we can see what kind of riled up your joy, but did anything happen where it brought you joy? You try to steal your joy this week? Um, this week is work has been good this week. Okay, um, amen. I've been busy this week. Amen. Um, so that's been good. Like, so that brought me joy. Anytime I'm busy, like I love working. I love to work. Um, so anytime I'm busy working, that's just a cool time, and it's mm -hmm. just it's wonderful. I'm working, I'm getting checks, it's just, I'm enjoying myself, mm -hmm. and it's, it's just a good time. So, that brought me joy right <clears throat> this week, excuse me. What about you? What brought you joy this week? Um, what all brought you joy this week? <laughs> it was a lot of things that brought me joy. I, w I went to see Kendrick on Friday. How was Friday. that? It was great. He was great. Did you get that with your job? I did. So, you didn't think about your, your brother's I got I got it off of a humble. Somebody invited me, mm -hmm. so there were no extra tickets. All right. I'm just so, thinking. I know. I know. Like boy joy. <laughs> that could be a joy moment for me. That could have. It, it yeah. could have been. It didn't happen, though. All right? My black boy joy moment is when my brother brought, gave me <laughs> tickets <laughs> to the... <laughs> That ain't happening. Go ahead. Right. I, so I probably <laughs> even should have mentioned that. I, I kind of... No, I, I, I snuck in the Afro Punk as well. I don't make that face. Don't make that face. Usa, Usa, you getting tense? We texted about okay. Afro Punk. Okay, right. We totally texted. But I hit you Afro Punk morning. You, bro, what you know for Afro? It's quiet for me. It, it was quiet. Mouse, what you know for Afro Punk? Oh, yeah, blase, blase, blase. <laughs> right. But what happened was somebody had a ticket, extra <clears throat> ticket. They said, "Yo, use it. Tell them that you got left out and that you're trying to come back in, and it worked." And I caught Sizzle and Solange, and they were beautiful. They were wonderful. So shout out to me going hustling. I hustled this weekend. So what took my black boy joy this week <laughs> is my brother. Yo, don't do here. that to me, bro. Um, just don't do coming that to up. Me. I'm joking. I'm happy for you, bro. Thank you. Like, take some pictures. Shit. Thank you, bro. You start dancing, acting a fucking fool. <laughs> but actually, what took my joy this week was the weather, bro. I woke up this morning, mm. and it was like 50 degrees in my house. It probably wasn't 50. It felt like 50. I don't understand what's going on. Bro, it's I have on a hoodie and a t-shirt and a tank top. And the president don't believe in global warming, so you're fucked. Listen, it was cold this morning. It so that took my black boy joy this week. Yes. Literally, Mother Nature. What about you? If anything, it's uh, an amazing week. Dog. All that thing, all that thing, everything that's going on in Houston, I don't want to get too deep Yo, into it. Yo, shout out. Wait, stop. Shout out to, not to cut you off, mm -hmm. but we be live. I have family in Houston. My auntie, oh, do you? My auntie Carolyn and my cousin James and my, my um, cousin Shanice, they all live in, Lon in London, in Houston. Mm -hmm. And I just want to send a shout out to her because she watched the show. Yes. So, shout Auntie Carolyn, what's up? She watches it on Facebook. Thank auntie you. Carolyn, Please what's up? We safe. see you. We pray for you. Be safe if you need anything. Mm -hmm. If we got it, you got it. Um, and we love you. So, but yeah, sorry. Yeah. Shout out to everybody from Houston. Yeah, please. We're praying for you. And anything we can do, please send some credible websites that we could donate to because I will absolutely love I can you. only donate my time. So, I got a few dollars. I got a few bucks. Possibly. But, like, I would rather donate my time. It's more genuine than okay. money. Like, if we can pack Very some true. bags. To All that. Yeah, stick. water. Anything y'all need. I was need, being we got serious. I wasn't no. being funny. Like, I know. Because she was like, I saw you. No, because I was like, don't be stingy because you're rich. Good night. So All I'm right. I'm not rich. I'm not rich, guys. <laughs> okay. Very poor. Well, let's talk about being rich in health. Uh, good yes, segue. That was segue. Sick. Good. All right. Um, I watched What the Hell. That's what I'm rich in. That, that, that's what we both rich in. Uh, we watched uh, What the Health this past week. And What the Health. Mm, mm, mm. So this What the Health documentary on Netflix, Netflix has been sleeping the nation. And it's gotten my attention. It's gotten a lot of people that I know attention. I hear people on the train talking about it. Mm -hmm. um, when I, it's, it's just everywhere. So <clears throat> what it is, I'll let you say what it is. It's your, okay. What is What the Health? So like, <laughs> What the Health is a documentary basically... Uh, I want to say, like, being a whistleblower when it comes to everything that's bad going on with, like, maybe the FDA and the foods that we eat yeah. and uh, 
things that we drink and put in our bodies. So it's basically like opening up this whole canister of bad health that's supposed to be good for us, apparently. Plant-based. Plant-based, <clears throat> right. So shout out to plant-based diet, though. Shout but, out to anybody who can start and, and, and stay on a plant-based diet. But the uh, crazy part, a bit. you're not. I'm no. on the fence. No, put your hands down. I'm no. definitely on the fence. Undo that, but you just undo it if you can undo except it. For, except for Doritos, which are fresh, by the way. Fresh Doritos. Fresh Doritos. So the documentary opens up with this guy talking about how, you know, and I'm just a short version. Um, it opens up about this guy. He's talking about how growing up. No, he's, he opens up saying that he's like a recovering hypochondriac. Right, right, right. right. And, and then it, didn't, it just goes into like basically how the food industry, like, Pretty much all the people who are telling us what to eat and how to eat it and what's healthy for us, they can't be trusted. Right. And it's all a sham. It's all a sham. And the, the the biggest part that... I'm just jump right to facts from the movie. Go ahead, uh, fact man. The part that stood out to me the most was that like with yogurt. Like I love yogurt. Mm -hmm. Like I used to buy yogurt all the time. Like Giovanni, fire, bro. With the flips, with this... The, Wait till they give us a check before you start saying their name. Oh, right. It's a it's a good yogurt good, brand. Anyway, good yogurt brand. Like yogurt increases women's chances of getting breast cancer by forty nine percent. And my grandmother died of breast cancer that I never met. So that was kind of like, oh shit, like so it was just it made me want to look deeper and like it, it right. caught my attention and made me pay more attention. And I noticed how they have it set up so deep. Like with processed, like I didn't know that processed meats caused cancer. I didn't know that bacon was a processed. Really? Meat. I didn't know that a processed meat was pepperoni. Like it was, it was just crazy. It was mind blowing to me, right. and it just, like I've seen it like two months ago, maybe no, like a month and a half ago, <clears throat> and I stopped eating meat for probably like two weeks, four I days, two weeks. Okay, my bad. Sorry. I had a steak yesterday. Right, exactly. But I've been eating meat my whole life, so it's kind of tough for me. But mm -hmm. like, what do you think about it? Because you're a vegetarian. I don't even know if that's Don't safe. put in quotes. I'm definitely a vegetarian. I don't eat any meat. No You know it's fish. meat and Doritos. It's meat and Doritos? It might be. Like, <laughs> Don't tell me that. I don't then I'm not a vegetarian no more. Because uh, I was killing them Doritos. You know what Mouse was saying if he was here. Shut up. And we're not going to say it. Because my mother's is watching. This is a shout out to Mouse because he know what he would say in this moment. Right. Let's Mouse just say that he is not a vegetarian uh, so, by any means. So yeah. Wait, wait. Um, all right. So one of the most surprising things that I've learned was that they have hog farms in um, North Carolina. And what they do is they put the hog farms right by minority neighborhoods. And they just be killing pigs. And the pigs be in their own bacteria, and they, then they got a a a a, 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 sh a a shit a shit sprinkler. They have like a, a fire hydrant, and it's, it's nothing that but sets off pig hella shit. water, but it's all doo doo water, right? From like pigs. Pigs. Like, I was this right? Don't it make you? It's just like, and then they have like do that. they take dead pigs, right? Ground them up, and make the live pigs eat them. And then kill them, and, and then make bacon. Any bacon, the bacon in my that y'all love has been through. But that shit is probably some good bacon. It's probably some good ass bacon. But but, but that don't make it. It don't right. make it good, right. right? So I thought that was crazy because these people in these areas, these minorities and black people predominantly, were getting cancer and asthma. Like asthma was like just the, from breathing the water vapor. Right. Asthma was like the bank had bounced. Like everybody was going. Oh, you ain't got asthma today? Oh, you ain't got asthma? No, I'm chilling. Cause <laughs> you chilling? I got a brutal. Oh, okay. I'll be, all right, that's you got asthma? Yeah, you got you, <laughs> you know? Like that's the shit. You're stupid. No, but people were getting before. asthma and cancer. And you know, this woman was like my cousin across the street. He got cancer. Uh, my Gino down the block. He got asthma Sharon and cancer. up the street. Like, but another was part crazy. that was even more alarming to me was how... <clears throat> it's kind of proven facts, and we talked about this before the show mm -hmm. about the two or the three people that they used as examples on, you know, the lady she was in a walker. Oh yeah, and she switched. She's on like probably seven or eight or maybe ten to twelve different medications, mm -hmm. and then she changed her diet, mm -hmm. and in two weeks, it was just it was like reversed, like all of like her problems. Like she could walk without the walker. She was feeling better. I'm not saying that she was a hundred percent, right? But it seemed it was seemed as though. 90% of the problems and things that she was going through like was reversed on right. her plant-based diet. And it's the the part that's surprising to me is that with people knowing that, how come more people haven't converted to a plant-based diet? And Duh. how come it hasn't resonated in the hood yet? And that's I feel like That's a good point. 
I feel like a better person to talk about it was with the Styles P interview. Yes. At the Breakfast Club. Mm-hmm. And you can tell people about that, so... Right. I'm no. I, I get because on researching this topic, I wanted to give a realistic point of view from somebody who is of the community. Yes. Because you find a whole bunch of people that are usually white, Caucasian mm-hmm. people who would say, hey, you need to switch to a plant-based diet. Styles P is somebody I looked up to in the rap community for a long time. Mm-hmm. So when I heard Styles P... He's say, like... He's a yeah, no, he's like, like for, P. he's for real. Like I done shot people before, but now I'm holistic. And you can change your life. And that's cool. But he was having an interview on the <laughs> Breakfast Club and I just thought it was important for us to to watch it and digest it. Um again, with everything going on in his life, suicide as far as Well, let's talk about that daughter, because which is firstly, I don't think stuff like that is talked about enough because no. it can be it can be used as like a wellness moment. You know what yeah. I mean? Which is how I took it, seeing it. But I didn't even know that he... I didn't know what his wife looked like. I didn't know that they had a daughter. Or mm-hmm. he had... Or his she had a daughter. I didn't know that she committed suicide. Yep. Until, I didn't know any of this until that. I didn't know that he had a juice thing going on. I didn't you did, know... You didn't know he had a juice? I didn't know any of this. Dog. Styles like, P is in here working. Like, he changed up his so lifestyle. But it's so inspiring because he used to be Styles P. You know what right. I mean? And it's like... That it just he's well, still it Styles like, P now. He's still Styles P, but you don't get like that type of guy being that vulnerable all the time. Right. Talking about family, talking about structure, how it's important, what it and means wellness. to him, and mental wellness. Mm-hmm. Like he said it, you know, these guys maybe 30, 40, dressing young, hanging out. I'm sorry, early, excuse me, late 30s, early 40s, mm-hmm. hanging out with these young guys, dressing young, looking young, but their body is not the same age. He's like, we need to start taking care of ourselves. You right. Know what I mean, and and that's and that's why I thought it was so important that he pointed out like even what he was putting in his body helped him change his mindset. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And that makes we me don't think. we don't think about that. Like what I be thinking right like the way I'm thinking right now. If I wouldn't have drunk that lactate, ten minutes. Before you definitely we- drank the lactate right before we was talking about how. Crazy dairy make you, but it's like and and kind of right. It's kind of dairy, but not really. It's dairy substance. I don't know. It just make it's no one is half the problem. Yep. And I think that I think that with this and him talking about it, it's gonna bring make more people watch it. A mm-hmm. eh? more black people, excuse me. It should. Um, and it's gonna just continue to be a conversation. And I think that people are just gonna be a little bit more aware and conscious of what they put in their mouth. And be it, it might take a little while for them to change and to fully convert or to even make a small change. But as long as the thought started, like that's where it starts. Mm-hmm. If while you eating the bad shit, if you're thinking about it, it's still it's still progress. Right. I feel like you know what I mean. Now, now that you say that, mm-hmm. um, one of the things I wrote down was that seventy three percent of Black people, uh, all around the world are lactose intolerant. Yes. Knowing that we have a large number of Black people who can't I'm tolerate that. I'm cheese. In that. We all in it. Everybody in this room know when they eat a, a, a half a pizza, they go, uh-oh. There you go. If you have too much Wait a minute. and cheese. Right. And you know there'd be three, four cheeses in that. You know. Alone. You reserve in the bathroom. Exactly. My bathroom don't have windows. So you nasty. It don't. It don't have no, I'm just saying you nasty because I know you go with... Cat, 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 uh, 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 right. right. Well, we don't we don't break it down. Yes. We don't break it down. And it's <clears> and they were saying 95% of... A- Asians don't are lactose intolerant. Knowing that we know this, and That's knowing that it like makes us soy, it make us run to the bathroom. Why do we? Why we still eat it? Run is an understatement. <laughs> but, but, why, why do we still eat it if we know that it causes? Because it's so good. Shit? That shit is good. Macaroni and cheese. It's amazing. Robert makes Robert made your best friend. I, I know who my best friend is. What was this Robert? Robert. I think it was the last week or earlier this week. He made the best macaroni and cheese ever. Mm-hmm. I mean, better than all the macaroni and cheese he ever made. Like, and I told him, like, so this is the one he put his foot in. Both feet. The pinky toe? And a nail bow, nigga. And a nail. <laughs> I think I got a nail in there. Do we have any questions? Because this is my week on questions. Like, oh, okay. I know we just fed y'all a lot. It's a lot going on. Questions. A lot to That's digest, crazy. but clearly we inspired by um, what the hell. So. Oh, no. There's no sound on our Facebook Live. Oh, come Can on. Can y'all hear me? Probably not. It's no sound. It may have to do with the internal microphone. Oh, black folk. Okay, look. We thought we had it together. You got it. Hold on. Return back to your seat, Any brother. Any questions? Sorry, guys. I'm mooning y'all. Any um, questions on our Twitter? Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Um, yes, one question. Where can we find what the hell? Okay, so 
Where can they find What the Health? You can find What the Health right now. It's streaming on Netflix. It's streaming on Netflix. Go if on If you don't Netflix. have a Netflix account, you can DM. Ball Marcus is. You can DM Jameer Pond. At I Jameer. Bar- I borrowed somebody. At Jameer Pond. It's his Twitter and I Instagram. I borrowed somebody. You, can, you can't get you it can from me. You can give him your Instagram. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm automatically <laughs> logged in. I don't know the password or the username, so you can't get it from me. I'm sorry. And... But, Okay, one more question. What it? What is our biggest takeaway from what the hell? What's your biggest takeaway from what the hell? Biggest takeaway from what the hell? My biggest takeaway is that, you know what? This system is designed, honestly, to kill us. So what we have to do is be more responsible. We have the information. We know what we need to do. Mm. So it start. We have to start practicing what we preach because mm. if not, we're gonna see a lot of more. A lot more people die. To food related deaths. Like I can't tell you how many times people done died in my family or died that I've known, and then the same thing that they died from, we had at the repast. Like Ooh, ham, chicken. like chicken, mac and cheese, potato salad. Yes, nigga. We greens, take greens, hot water cornbread. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds good. It's hot water cornbread. Hot water. What is that? Like I don't know, but but we we dying from the same shit that these people done died for. That's true. So why do we continue this nigga cycle? Nigga died KFC and KFC catered at the repast. Catered the repast. Ain't this a bitch? I'm gonna just eat the macaroni and. Eat, don't sides. eat the so you got we gonna have to limit the you. Than <laughs> Can I get all? <laughs> Let me just get all sides. I mean, they picking the green, picking the meat out the green. Right? Yeah. yeah. No, we don't want that. We're doing, and they said that bread don't even cause diabetes in, in the um in the documentary. They say it's more of a yes, meat. We can diet. talk about what the hell for two It's a lot. Episodes. I'm just it's like, another gym. We got one, one more question. One more question. Last question. How do you discern what's real and what's propaganda from Cool Mo J and K Mona? Oh. Well, that, that's a good question because that's Mo. Mo. No, no, no. Okay. Hey, Mo. Hey, Mo. <laughs> no, everything that I saw in there, I didn't necessarily subscribe to, but um, I know what works for me. That's why I'm not out here shaming people for what they eat, how they live their lifestyle, because I know what works for me. I know that a more plant-based diet, because I still eat dairy from time to time, a more plant-based diet for me works. <laughs> Ribs. No ribs. A McRib. Not a McRib. No, not a McLobster. Like nothing. <laughs> a McLob- they have McLobsters? Yeah, seasonal. It, it don't even be lobster. It's like cardboard and red. Oh my God. Pie. I've never Allegedly. heard of that. Yeah. McLobster. McLobster. You got to go down to like the <laughs> New England area and go get it. But they got McLobster. Wow. Yeah. I don't subscribe to that, but I know what works for me. So oh, no. everything may not be true, but what works for me works for me. My, okay, so for the first question, my biggest takeaway was, well, this is, can answer both questions. I just don't know who to trust. Like, I did not uh-huh. know that, like, these agencies who's telling me what's good for me to eat mm-hmm. is sponsored by the people making the bad shit. That, Absolutely. You know? American Heart Association. It's sponsored by your play. Right. Tyson. Tyson, right. Fucking Oscar De La, Oscar Mayer probably. Like, mm-hmm. uh, it's, he's about to say Oscar De La Hoya. I was going to say Oscar De La Renta. <laughs> oh, <actually>. right. <laughs> I'm not into boxing. <laughs> but you knew who he was. I, I know who he is. Okay. All right. Um, but yeah, it's just, I just don't know who to trust. And I'm just going to pray about it. Like, yeah. I don't have, like, I have so much going on. You have so much going on. The last thing or another thing that we need to be worrying about is, fuck, does this cheeseburger have a fucking toenail in it? Right. And it's just like. If it's not been... Robert's toenail. He put his foot in something. Okay. Yeah. Right. There you go. Right. All right. I, was like, Where's I bought it back. I bought it back. I bought it back, Ronnie. But um, it's just like I don't know. It's I feel like we're gonna die anyway. You know what I mean? But it's just I want to just be here a little longer. And Enjoy if I life. die, I don't want it to be like a a dying from a food. I don't want to die of yeah. like a heart disease or something that's preventable. Yeah, like yeah. you know, die from being eaten by a lion or some shit like that. Right, it like, does. Nigga just just didn't wake up. Right. It's, that's fine. We don't know what happened. We don't like, know. And like, not from some food shit. Not because he choked on the cheeseburger. Exactly. Wendy's. Mmm. I was just shady. saying that. that was one, of our, one of our PAs just had Wendy's. That was shady. I mean, I yeah. love Wendy's. Yeah. But moving on. Yes. Yeah, so before we close the show, I know this shit went by quick. I know. It we went by to... quick. And we're going we gonna to get Facebook together. I'm, I apologize. I apologize. Do you know sign language? I don't know sign language. I do. Actually, I'm on my name. Watch you know. Oh, we we know your name. I do, but that that's I'm limited to what uh, I know. I don't know how to say like jackass. Jack. No, stop. 
Put your hand down. All right, so uh, before we get out of here, we got a wellness moment. Uh, the wellness moment has to do, of course, with what the hell. Yes. But um, just stay mobile. Because a lot of people, what it is, is that we don't walk, we don't stretch, we don't work out. And a lot of what we eat in is killing us because we're not balancing it out with pr producing, having our body produce natural energy by walking, by stretching. Brown rice and broccoli. That's your wellness moment. I just had that, actually. That is all the protein you need. That's what they said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You right. You right. You brought it now back. watch. You, you brought it back. Watch what the hell. But yeah, stay mobile as well. Like, we got to be out here um, living because, like, like Marcus said, a lot of us are eating to live instead of... No. A lot of us living like, to eat. No, we're eating to, to live. Instead, no, we're living to, to eat, eat instead of eating, eating to, to live. live. Yes, is that right? Possibly. It's one of those. But don't anyway. eat until you till you die. That's what I'm saying. You want to make sure you get a nice balance and enjoy life. I don't want to just be here surviving. I want to live. I want to have a good time. Don't be a, a prisoner of your own body or your own mind state where you can't live. And um, so. I think that's that's really it. But yeah. I'm, I don't know. I just think that what the health is, some people think it's just propaganda. Yeah. But and I can I, I, I understand why. It's just too good. And like lastly, I'm going to close with this. I just don't know. I mean, they, they could be all actors. But like it's just all these like credible people like talking about the same thing. So it's just like how many know. people do it need to take for you to like believe it? Right. You know? Like, I don't know, but... Eat an apple and eat a cheeseburger and see how you feel after both. That's all. That's what I'll say. Oh, dude, we can do the two-week challenge. I'm not eating meat for two weeks. That's it. That's it. All right, guys. Well, I'm Marcus Ivory. Hey, I'm Jameer Pond. Please make sure you guys follow us on Black Boy Joy Show. All our pages on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Black Boy Joy. Show. Black Boy Joy. Show. Black a Boy Joy. Should know. There you go. Also, right. guys, be... You guys can catch past episodes and clips from the rally that we talked about earlier in this episode at our YouTube channel, yes. uh, which is Black Boy Joy Show. And you can also see it on our Instagram. I think I have a clip up on the Instagram. Yeah. It's about a minute long. Mm -hmm. um, very good. Very, very good. good. Yeah. I think we did good. Let us know what you think. Any questions, guys, you can email them to uh, Black Boy Joy Show. At gmail.com, probably. I think so. We're going to get it together, I promise. But we love y'all for watching. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Pray for Houston. Pray Keep for doing Houston. Your thing. Pray for, pray for, pray for Houston. And before we close, we got to give another shout out to our sponsors. One Wealthy more time. Images. Wealthy Images. Yeah. Look at us up with this good light. What's the slogan? What's the slogan? Who wouldn't want a wealthy image? Come on now. Get it. But yeah. get this good. That's right. We out. We out. See you next week. Peace. Ah. Ah, ah, that's how you do it with show you broke it.